Hey, good morning, Bubby. Hey, how where? are you doing today? Good, man. How are you? Uh, your paws, you paws a little ray of sunshine, huh? Huh? <laughs> All right. Hey, we're with your daddy, and we're in uh, Wakefield, Rhode Island today. And check this out. We're going to take a picture of two more auto cars in their fleet. That's actually the twin to the uh, 86 or 87 that was down all along. Wait a minute, trying to get a video. But uh, it's another one of the fleet. They're hauling water today. They've actually got a swimming pool, the guy's doing. They, they uh, relined a swimming pool, I guess, or something. Kind of, kind of late in the year to be doing swimming pools. But that's what they do all summer. They fill, fill swimming pools, and uh, and then they also haul water to the uh, potable water. This is all potable water. It's coming out of a hydrant, deep, deep artesian wells. So, come on, Bob, get out of the road. Come on over here, Pa. So they're. Uh, they're gonna, Hi. Hey, buddy. They're gonna haul water. Uh, this this truck's going to uh, to fill a swimming pool, and then the other truck, the straight truck, Jeffrey's driving it. You did? Well, run it off. You're young. You'll adjust. Yeah. And then uh, the other truck. Come on, take a walk down here. The other truck. I'm not sure. This this one was a retired fire truck. Uh, they got at auction or something. I don't know. But these things, like I said, these things are all in nice shape. I mean, they're not rotten. They're just they're really good shape. Yep. And now uh, this this tandem. I think it's only got like a 250 Cummins in it or something, but it's just a tandem straight truck. Now they, what they do with this truck is they'll, uh, they'll use this quite often to go down to the beaches. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the shape that truck's in. I don't even know what year this is. It's a, I think it's a 60s something. I'll ask you. But these trucks, uh, um, Hi, Paul. I want to go down that. All right. But they'll, uh... I just got a Uh-oh, don't get all wet, buddy. It's too cold for that. Don't get in that and get soaked. Here, silly goose. Think this truck is, uh... This truck's really nice condition. Another one of their... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. They got a bunch of them. They got a few more that aren't really on the road yet or whatever they're redoing. What do you think, Jeffrey? What year is this? 69. 1969. What model auto car is it? 90... Good question. 9564 model. 95-64. That's a really heavy truck, but this hey, was Mom, a... Come here. Hang on, hang on. We're doing a... 9964. Model 9964. Yeah, DC 9964. DC 9964. Look at the condition this truck is in. Now this is this is all steel cab, right? Yeah. But look at the look at the cab. Now this is all original. It's never been done. No. Look at the look at the uh, rockers and stuff on this truck. The floors. It's immaculate. This was a fire truck, right? Yeah. This, did some fire company have it? North Star. Where? North Star. North Dartmouth. This was a fire truck, and they bought it, you know, and obviously it already had the tanker on it. How many gallon tank? 5,000 gallon. 5,000 gallon tank. Things got enormous rear ends in it. What are they, like 58,000 pound rear ends? 58,000. It's got a 65,000 pound Rockwell six rod suspension. Wow. So Take she's a stack of leaves in there. So she's stout. I mean, this thing, this thing's a tank. Now look at the. Uh, it's like a, almost looks like a Camelback type suspension. Similar. Yeah, similar to Camelback. They're running what? 1224 fives. Yeah, 1224. 
So they're, haul, they're, they're set up to haul heavy with this beast. But the truck's just in nice, nice shape. I mean, all of these, I don't know how they find them like this. The things are just nice. Really, really nice. I got a video of you right here. Come here. We'll do a selfie video. Come here. <laughs> yeah, it's me and Bobby right here, huh? I see a selfie. Pa, come here. I want to show you something. All right, buddy. Over here. Come on, Pa. All right, yep. Hang on. You want to still be on video over there? Come on. Yeah, I want to show you a cool way. Okay. So anyway, I'm just impressed with this fleet of old trucks that they keep in good condition and good order and you know they're like I said they're driving up and down the road with these things all the time so they have to be under the scrutiny of DOT just as well. Uh, I don't think so. I think somebody did a poop down there. I'm not going down there. Yes, they did. That, that's yuck. I ain't going down there. Come on. I don't want you stepping in something you shouldn't. <laughs> anyway, uh, the condition of these trucks are pretty amazing for what they are and the years they are. And, and uh, uh, you look at the frame on this thing. And they, they, they yeah, wash them off and keep them. This one's pretty clean. I got a cramp. I totally got a cramp. Look at that. I mean, I don't know. It's like a step back in time. The, uh, the doors all work nice on them. The rock Look at the rockers on this. And these are steel. Some of these were aluminum cab, but these are steel. Not a bit of rust. These are just cool trucks. These are, these are when a truck was a truck. You know? simple you know this this here this one here's got new way air under it so the air ride tractor they actually ride pretty good that tandem axle rides like a an old buckboard don't get all wet bobby it's too cold you'll catch cold <laughs> i don't know i hope the, all the truck enthusiasts like this how you doing kevin Hi. smile you're on candid camera <laughs> I got a couple more I'm gonna video later, so. Well, anyway. Oh, I'm sure there's somebody out there who appreciates this stuff. Uh, I really do. I just, I'm just impressed with this condition of these trucks. And again, these aren't just like restorations or these trucks are used every day. Look, look at this. 1969. Look. I can't get my new trucks to close that good. My doors. All right. Well, ta ta. We'll talk later. Ta ta. Ta ta, everybody. Ta ta, everybody on Hulu. Yeah, on Hulu. It's YouTube. Oh, bye everybody on YouTube. This is Bubby signing off. Hey everybody, it's Old Pa here. I just wanted to show you uh, one of the situations where we're delivering water to this beach house. Um, this is in Charlestown, Rhode Island, uh, Charleston Beach, over behind that little restaurant or motel or whatever it is, it's just miles, nice beach over there, and uh, this place is packed solid in the summertime, it's bumping a bumper, so these guys have a lot of fun getting these trucks in and out of here in the summertime with all the beach traffic. Of course, this time of year, it's pretty dead down here, they have a few rentals and a few people to stay all season, but, uh, so, but, uh, Jeff and Dave, uh, Dave's here with me now, how many, how many of those beach houses do you guys service down there? There's about a hundred. Well, about a hundred of these tanks, and they also clean them, correct? Yeah. They bleach them and clean them, and, you know, do the maintenance on them for the for the uh, beach homes. I guess you guys deal with like realtors who who handle the rental. Right. The property right. managers. The property managers. Contact yeah. us. Yeah. So it's a pretty neat thing that probably most people wouldn't think much about it behind the scenes of what goes on and all this. But Anyway, that gives you an overview. He's got a little, uh, they put hydrants in so they can get the water over the tank. Jeffrey's over by the tank watching it. And uh, it's it's just a neat setup. And they, they go along and do a bunch of these, you know. And, uh, and they do swimming pools and whatnot too. 
Okay, well, thanks for watching. Merry Christmas.